part of the point, you know. Yeah, yeah, you go all the way down, bring it right back up. Okay. Yeah, you know, you. Uh, uh, instead of eating it. It's a 57 story building with 57 different plates. Some of the elements are very visible and you right there when you walk in the street you can see the cantilevers at the lower seven floors. It's very unique, little boxes sticking out of, of the building, hanging in the air. Some of the challenges are, are hidden from the public. They, they're not even aware of how we did it. The last ten floors, they call them sky villas. So this one is the last residential floor. We made this uh, sort of like an elephant skin kind of texture. This cantilever wall is tying into this internal color, picking up the slab over there and the slab above us. Well, this is the, the floor of the damper. Dampening is a, a sort of a shock absorber in a car that absorbs the energy, makes the building move less. Building has to be strong, or how we call it in our terms, has to be stiff. So we are in the central core, housing the, the stairs and the elevators. Central core is the backbone of the building, giving you the lateral stability that you need. So we are on the 32nd floor, which houses the mechanical equipment. In this building, we didn't have any shear walls because they wanted to have the architectural layouts, the space, to be free of walls dissecting the space. We have very few interior columns. As you go up the interior columns, they drop completely and all you have is exterior columns and a central core. So they do not intrude in, in the space and the building is very strong. Which gives full flexibility for the tenants to combine apartments. I never came across a structure so unique as 56 Leonard. All of the New Yorkers will talk about this building and how unique it is.